the supreme court do not would not exercise or has never exercised a power of issuing mandamus to parliament i have put that it will be entirely in, legal in, entire. in, in gujarat one lady married herself i don't know how hmm. but the right to cohabit itself is a fundamental right then to have the government make a statement before us because you know you have ministries who are dedicated for this purpose and which is possibly one of the reasons why our religion survived even foreign invasions because of the in inclusion the sense Lashen of tolerance of the culture the bread within us and it may not be appropriate us for us to devise that model okay, absolutely but we can certainly tell the government but now look how law has Mr. Uh, Solicitor, is very interesting because we have a much wider power of judicial oh. review. Yes. Therefore, our interpretive techniques are somewhat narrower, more narrower, narrower. than they in the UK. Yes. Because, yes. because the court in the UK does not have the power to strike down as we have. Therefore, they, Therefore, they have a wider. The limit is techniques. this: under Section Three, they can make it compatible. Compatible. They can make it compatible with the convention, or. Or declare non composed oh, Both are possible. So th th those are the only possibility. Yes, or or they declare that this is not compatible under Section and 6. If they say so, then to make it compatible, it is left to the Parliament. Parliament. So in that sense, it's a it's a kind of a continuous uh, interface between the two organs. Therefore, my lord, the only last bottom line submission is reliance on Gedan and specifically the paragraphs relied upon. We are not relevant. That's the respectful sir. No, this takes us beyond Gedan, the interpretation here. Yes, sir. And therefore, the limits of the jurisdiction is narrower. Lord, this is my summary of my Lord, uh, submissions on the constitutional point, my Lord. The Supreme Court do not would not exercise or has never exercised. A power of issuing mandamus to parliament. I have put the judgments. That's all in the first part. I'm not reading them. Well settled. Your lordships, my lord, yesterday also uh, there is no dispute that there is no mandamus to parliament that you enact the law, etc. This is my lord. Now, now I'm on the second limb of my submissions, my lord. In other words, you know, actually, Mr. There is no effort responsibility of the state to recognize. Suppose a suppose a same sex couple says that, you know, we, we are inviting a group of 25 friends and we are going to have a marriage ceremony. Our law today, there is no prohibition. No. Right? You also accepted it in the morning uh, yes, today. Yes, you, you can have. Fairly, you said that. Well, you can have it. Somebody may have, you know. You have a reception. Why not? You will have a reception. Somebody may tie a, a, a thali in the south or uh, somebody yes. may have uh, yes, a marriage ceremony. Somebody. Question is exactly. So, because there is no bar in our law to having any form of ceremony. No. Question is about the legal legal recognition so is that whether it will be entirely in, legal. In, in Gujarat, one lady married herself. I don't know how, hmm. but in, in recently, my lord, few profound. months. Hmm? Very, very profound. Very profound, I said. Very profound. <laughs> very profound. <laughs> yeah, spiritually very profound, my lord. But I, anyway, my lord, let's not. Go. So what you are saying, what we understand is that they there could be a right to cohabit or for a orientation of a particular kind, and uh, give it a give it a, by any name a relationship which is being sanctified. But that will not have corresponding obligations on the state to do something to recognize it legally, statutorily or otherwise. But uh, Mr. Solicitor, let's go step by step. Once you recognize. That there is a right to cohabit. In other words, homosexual relationships are not really one of incidents in the life of a person. They may also be symptomatic of a sustained emotional, social, physical relationship. Once you recognize that the right to cohabit itself is a fundamental right, then to say that you cannot seek any legal recognition at all, because once we accept the fact that same-sex couples have a right to cohabit, then there is a corresponding duty on the state to at least recognize that that cohabitation, all the social incidents of that cohabitation must find recognition in the law. The, Lord, the problems which were highlighted... The cohabiting Lord, couple, they have, say, a, uh, can they not have a joint bank account? 
or nomination in the Nomin insurance policy that certainly but these are all human concerns which my lord i also share and the government also shares difficulties yeah, yes but then that we must find a solution to that problem from that point of view we would be more than willing to have the government make a statement before us because you know you have ministries who are dedicated for this purpose Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, Social Justice. Ministry of Persons with Disabilities, Ministry Correct. of Women and Child Development. So you well, see, you may you may not you you okay. may or may not call it marriage, but some label is necessary. May perhaps not be. It's it's a loud thinking. Yes. I may not not uh, uh, dwell much on that. I mean, just, but just in principle, I must say at the outset, right. as an officer of the court, right. that any except any legal recognition of this form of cohabitation either as a marriage or by any other name we are, we, are, we are right now not at, we are not at that we are not taking it if at that there are so other step right if now. there are other issues or concerns well, they can be addressed on the so you have an income tax expert here yes you have an aop you have a concept known as an aop that's right you have a concept known as contract, concept known as partnership. These are legally recognized. Statutorily recognized and created. Right. Point is, yes, I think the key to this is association. Although we have certain certain other things could creep in once you bring in 191C. But what you are saying in essence is they have a right to associate themselves. <laughs> and in that association also means exclusion. In that relationship, there is no other person. Well, Lord, on on that concern issue, my Lord, I share the concern. But the government also, my Lord, I don't think All, yeah, exactly. Not, you know, I, I don't think this will be an issue. That's why we thought that you know this should come from you because I mean ultimately you know we want some some element of a broad because sense of coalition because we are also conscious about the fact that there's so much as rep so much which representative democracy must also achieve in our country. Therefore, we'd be happy to get that kind of. Uh, Lord, I'll, I I I undertake, my Lord. We'll. Uh... And now take another thing. Today, forget that Kara circular form for a moment. We are going to put it to Ms. Bhatti later on. Uh, a one of the couples in a same-sex relationship can adopt. Hmm? No bar at all. It's lawful. Now, in such a situation, a child goes to school. Does the government want a situation where the child is essentially treated as a single parent child? Or you, and you don't have to go as far as marriage in this as well. See, so we don't have to go for an all or broke approach. At least at this stage of the development of our social ethos. Would the child not have the benefit of the cohabitation between the two people who have in whose home that child resides? You know? Uh, it is more your lordships are there. I understand the concern your lordships have. If one can, my lord, why not two? Merely because they happen to be yes. sharing the sex. There, there, is a, the... there is an issue there. And the that's a correct I mean, concern. If there are two, then both have to be recognized. It can't be that one is, one relates to one and the other one relates to the other. So both children are the children of both those parents. From your angle, there could be something else in your mind, which also, I mean, cannot be wished away. But at the same time, if this is the this is a normal for them, well, this is more this, a social sociological problem. Yeah, the rear, uh, rearing of the child, development of the child, uh, maybe. You know, these are all hypothetical situations, and my learned friend will deal. But they are real life. No, they are not hypothetical. What I'm going to submit is a hypothetical situation. Right. That there are studies which show that a single parent child, his growth is different and better. Then the child who does not see mother and father both, he sees either two men or two women. But the difficulty is this, and I'll very candidly share this. Lord, this movement, Lord, this kind of Lord, orientation must be in existence since time immemorial. But this movement started in 2002, around 2002. You know, Mr. Solicitor, it's the other way around. You see, it was the it was the impact of British Victorian morality 
Yes. That we gave much of our gave, that we had to forsake much of our cultural cultural ethos. You go to some of our finest temples, which reflect the architecture. I, I understand. And even if you look at them, you will never say that this is either you know lurid or that it is depicts some. No, no, I was slightly it on a different depth, point. It shows the depth of our culture. So what really happened? It's a very layered culture that probably. It's educative. Others tended to be educative. And look at the great profound, the profound, and look at the profound nature of our culture down the ages. What happened, unfortunately, was from 1857 and thereafter, and you got the uh, Indian Penal Code, for instance, we imposed, as it were, a code of British Victorian morality on a completely different culture. And our culture was extraordinarily inclusive, very broad. And which is possibly one of the reasons why our religion survived even foreign invasions because of the inclusion, the sense of tolerance. Of the culture. The breadth and the the profound nature of Correct. our culture. Absolutely, Malod, there. I was on a slightly Malod, different point. So you know the reason why I'm saying this, Mr. Solicitor, is this that there are so many issues in which you can, in that sense, we also we also understand our limitations as a court. I mean, there's no no question about it. But there are so many issues in which you know, for instance, of course, you have made your argument on the legislative side. But there are so many issues on which, on the administrative side. Uh, your I, I, I take it a lot and, and, yeah, and find real uh, solutions to these problems. And maybe we, we can be acting as facilitators yeah. to achieve these yes, solutions. Malod, and there, Malod, it would, there would not be any adversarial stint. Yeah. And, Malod, and the relationship of the court with the uh, government in that sense is not really an adversarial it relationship. Cannot so be, much especially the in a matter involving we, women. We are constantly, you know, especially on socio-economic matters, we are pushing the government. We are asking them, come on, come back. Give us no, I'll, 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 I'll speak to Malod at an appropriate level and so respond. We may not have a model within us and it may not be appropriate us for us to devise that model. Okay, absolutely. But we can certainly tell the government, but now look, our law has gone so far now. Now within what our law has recognized, can we not ensure that, you know, there is a certain degree of... Okay, class specific problems can be addressed to and attended with a view to solving the, the, the human issues. I am day-to-day issue. Day